Down here, it's a, it's a little unique to the fire department. We have uh, all the manpower issues to deal with. So first thing in the morning, we, we find our partner, we grab our gear and we switch everything out. Every piece of clothing that he had on the truck has to be taken off. We put our gear on and we have to check everything. Check our manpower, make sure we have the proper personnel there for here in the morning. The drivers make sure that their vehicles are fueled up. Put a grocery list together and we've got to get that get to the store, buy our groceries, get back. Sometime in between starting lunch and making runs and checking things out. We've got to get our company training in. One of the things we want to look for too, if we go to set up before we get too far into it, uh, when we do short jacket, we can only operate on the side that's fully extended. The main thing is, is always communicating with the driver. All right. In the afternoons, there's a lot of times there's inspections that we do. Territory familiarizations. Uh, if we have any smoke detector installs, we'll do those as well. And then we do the calls in between. We go from REM sleep to wide open in, in a matter of seconds. We're usually dress down the pole in the truck uh, within 45 seconds. You know, every situation is different. You got to kind of be, you know, calm and uh, gather your thoughts. There's always that, that uh, element of danger. There's something that could possibly go wrong. You, you plan on the worst and, and hope for the best. What's going on? Uh, some lady dropped her off here. She found her walking by the interstate, and that's all we got. She doesn't look too bad. I mean, foot's a little jacked up. But... To do the job, you have to be willing to at least uh, take, some, uh, take some educated risks. A, a lot of times the 911 dispatchers will tell us um, the scene is unsecured and they'll actually tell us to stay back until police clear the scene. No, no weapons in here? You don't know exactly what's going on and so you may be putting yourself in more danger than what you think you are. You want to get up and help him as fast as you can, but sometimes you got to, you know, kind of pull the reins back. Yeah, let's cuff him just, just temporarily till, so we don't get any blood flying around. It's okay. It's okay. We know that what the potential could be, uh, so we just exercise caution, but trying to get firemen to stop doing their job and doing it quickly is uh, trying to keep your, you know, a pit bull from eating a mailman. We just make them a trauma center. Let's crisscross these. You'd like to have a day where it's calm. Uh, nobody really needs you. Uh, you know, nobody gets hurt. There, there is no fire. Uh, but at the same time, you, the rewarding part is, is that when that does happen, and it's going to happen, is that uh, you're there to help. Uh, you're on top of your game and you do the best job you can and, and uh, provide the most positive result in a negative situation. Engine one is in service. 